Arsenal striker conundrum continues to motor forward. A big piece of news shared today by Transfer News Live we're going to delve into. We're also looking at Gareth Southgate to Man United. These mythical talks have taken place. What's really happening? Is he on his way to Manchester United or not? We're also looking at Branthwaite. We're looking at the situation with the strikers uh, at Manchester United, Chelsea and Arsenal, as we've already mentioned. But hit like buttons and subscribe. And remember, today we are sponsored again by our friends at Brick House Nutrition. I drink this stuff every single day. You can see it here. And it is amazing. And I, and I, I want to ask you to do something. If you take zinc tablets or vitamin C tablets or Barocca, go read the labels on the back and look at the crud and the crap and the poison that is in that. Although there may be vitamin C, look at the nonsense they use to create it. You don't want any of it. You want to deal with Brickhouse Nutrition. You want to deal with Field of Greens because it is pure, organic superfood. It's kale, it's broccoli, it's apples, strawberry, different herbs, different spices. Everything is pure, 100% organic, powdered down that you mix into a drink. I have about two to three of these a day personally. Gets my nutrition levels absolutely up. You should also be eating whole foods. These are their products. Go and check them out. I cannot advocate. I cannot advocate for this stuff enough. It is absolutely amazing. Your nails are stronger. Your hair is thicker. Your skin feels better. If you've got digestive issues, stop taking chemicals to fix it. And start eating whole foods and drinking Brickhouse Nutrition Field of Greens. Scan the QR code on the screen or click on the link below. Genuinely, it's been a game changer for me personally. Now, back to the first bit of news. I want to speak about Victor Euclidis. According to a number of outlets now, he is the number one target for Arsenal as a striker. Now, of course, I know there'll be some comments below that will say, but Terry, you've done videos saying that the deal for Ivan Tony's closer. Of course, we reported on a news article that stated that. We showed you the article. We showed you snippets from it. We asked for your opinion on it. That wasn't me, Terry Fleurs, or the football terrorist stating this was a fact. It's talking about a news article. But another majority of you get that. This here is now stating that Yulkares has moved ahead of Ivan Tony. And this does coincide with a lot of the media stories recently that are linking Arsenal to different strikers. Now, Jukares is an excellent, excellent striker. There is no doubt about that whatsoever. And we're gonna, for me, it links into Man United, and we're coming into a big Man United story later from Fabrizio Romano. So I'll bring that back round. But I think he's an excellent player. But I'm also happy at the idea that Arsenal were turning to him over Ivan Toney. Ivan Tony is a player that I rate highly. Ivan Tony is an individual that I would love to see at Manchester United. And when you factor in that Mike McGrath has stated that Man United will be in the market for a striker to support Rasmus Hoyland this summer, I can't think of anybody better than Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony will push him for a first team berth because he's good enough to play up front for Man United. But I think at the same time, there's differences in the way they play. There's also the experience that comes on that side. And having Ivan Tony and Rasmus Hoyland as the main two strikers, of course, you only play one striker at a time uh, in, in Man United's current formation, I think will be an excellent, excuse the pun, Arsenal for my beloved Manchester United. I'm not saying that Arsenal are making a bad decision. I do think that Victor Jukares is, a, is an, a quality player, having reviewed him and read a lot about him in recent weeks and, of course, watched him play. But I look at the sort of the, the arc that he's in in his career compared to Ivan Tony, and then I factor in Rasmus Hoyland, and I think this is a scenario that could work for everybody. It could enable Man United to go and sign a top-class supporting act to Rasmus Hoyland, someone that has the ability to push him out of the first team, but equally someone that's older, whose career isn't going to be as long as Rasmus Hoyland, so you can still show him the path and the future at the club. So I like this news that's, that surrounds Arsenal and Victor Jukares. Well, I'd rather them sign nobody, <laughs> but I'd, I'd like, I'd love Ivan Tony at my club. So this clears the way of making that slightly more possible, knowing that Man United are going to be in the market. But Arsenal fans, I want to ascertain your opinion on this. I want to know what you think and feel. Do you believe that you have now put your sights on Victor Jukares? Do you think he is the individual that the club has set its sights on? 
Or do you believe this is public negotiations? Ivan Tony's still the main man. You're just trying to drive down that price. Give me your thoughts, your feelings in the comments section below. Now, we've mentioned Man United already, and I want to go to a Fabrizio Romano story. And it surrounds Gareth Southgate. Because for weeks now, we keep hearing United are the red-hot favourites. And according to the bookmakers, the, 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 the favourite to become the next Man United manager is Southgate. But he's 5-1, to one, which is still pretty long odds, if I'm being honest. Nobody is odds-on. Nobody is looked at as 100% is going to be him. But the media are running with this story. But this all is predicated on the fact that Ineos and Sir Jim have met Southgate and like him as a person. It's predicated on the fact that Dan Ashworth has worked with him in the past at England. But there have been, and I, to my belief, this is always my belief, there has been no meetings, there has been no talks, there was nothing scheduled in about him becoming the Man United manager. This is the media, and it's been the Daily Star and the Sun putting two and two together and getting 332. And Fabrizio Romano has revealed in an exclusive with Court Offside that there has been no talks. Ten Hag's next two months will be important to understand his future, but talks with Ineos were positive. Now, some will say, ah, that means he's staying. No, I don't necessarily think it does. I do believe, unless Ten Hag changes the level of consistent performances between now and the end of the season and win the trophy and makes the Champions League, all three collective, by the way, I don't think he stays as Manchester United manager. Would Southgate be on the list of replacements? I believe so, yes, but lower down the pecking order. If United fail to land their first five, six, seven targets, then it could end up being somebody like him. But there's been too much panic from Man United. Forget rivals, bantering. There's been too much panic from Manchester United fans for me. Far too much showing of the bum. Far too much acting like children. Oh my God, we're dead. I can't believe we're doing this. Based on the sun and the daily star, and a bit of banter online that you can't handle. Grow some thicker skin. Read the articles in full. You engage your brain. Because I know you have them. You decided to pick Man United to support. But it's crazy that you've fallen for this current news that has no credibility to it right now. Could change in the future. But right now, no credibility to it at all. And one of the final stories I want to speak about today is this. Manchester United are keen to sign Everton's Gerard Branthwaite this summer in a bid to patch up their leaky defence. Now, for me, I rate this guy. I rate him highly. My only slight concern is I've only really seen him play on the left-hand side of the defense, and that is Lissandro Martin as his position. I'm not saying competition shouldn't exist, but hopefully he's passed his injury concerns into next season and plays regularly. I haven't seen him play too much on the right-hand side of the defense, so I'm not going to sit there and say he can or can't do it. But in terms of bolstering the defense, I think he's absolutely key. Highly talented, Lots of top teams across Europe are scouting him, including Manchester City, the current best team in the world with the best manager in the world, are looking at him as an individual that they want to bring in to improve their defence, which hasn't been as leaky as Manchester United, but it hasn't been as strong in terms of, they haven't conceded loads of goals, but in terms of opportunities, they will want to improve on that because the standards are so sky high at the Etihad. But I like this link. He's a player that I look at and think I'd love to see him at Manchester United. Defence is certainly an area that we need to improve. You, you think Lindelof really has got to go. Varane, as brilliant as he is, can he play two games per week? What's his long-term future looking like? It's poor. The Maguire situation will probably be resolved this summer by him being sold. Then you start to go down, that, and there's some good youngsters coming through, but we certainly need to go and purchase people. There's talk of a new right back being looked at, talk of a new left back being looked at. Right now, I'd leave right back alone. Let's put the money elsewhere. The low and AWB collectively, I think that's fine for now. It isn't perfect, maybe, but I think it's absolutely fine for now. Center backs, left back, midfield, another striker. Those areas are so key for us this summer. It is absolutely imperative that we fix them. But Branthwaite, give me your thoughts and your feelings, people. Would you take him or not? Remember, go and check out Brickhouse Nutrition now. I can give you a 15% discount. Use promo code SQUAD. All the information is in our comment section below. Promo code SQUAD, 15% off, plus free shipping. It's available in, in most parts of the world. I've had a lot of people saying to me as well, is it, is it available in America, Canada? Yes, it is. So go check it out now. Amazing products. And as I say, from someone like myself, I'm on a big health kick at the moment. This is the perfect supplement because it isn't 
promising to make you big and muscly. It's not full of sugar and crap and all sorts of chemicals and drugs. It is just the best of the best superfoods, organic superfoods, turn into a drink. <laughs> and the very best of them as well. Go check them out right now uh, on their website. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll see you soon. Peace.